we are going to search for a vehicle. I've got the search function on that for parallel parking. And I am just going to go slowly on the right hand side because that's where I want to park. And it should detect a parking spot. And once it does, it will beep. And then I will put my foot on the brake. I will be, I will say yes, that's what I want to do. Mm -hmm. And, and the then vehicle. I will hit park. Yes. And then. And then we can leave the car. I can leave the car, take the keys with me, stay within two meters of the vehicle. Not that I know what two meters is, <laughs> but then I need to press, press this or this button. Which button should I press? Any of those two, yes. Any of those two buttons, and it will Just start. You need to hold on to it. Oh, and it will start to park. And it will go in backwards. It never goes in. Oops. Because you're further than two meters. I'm further than two meters, but now it's coming towards me. What do I do? It, it, it's still working. It'll, it'll be okay. Fine. So. Now it does it again, and you can see that there's no one in the car, so... And then the car will come on and we will back up. No hands, we don't even have to be in the car, but this is what it looks like. You can see it's backing up all by itself. There, done. Oh, it's doing it all by itself. This is brilliant, and you can see it turning, and there it is. It is parking itself by itself. Yay! So you don't have to worry about parking it and messing up anything. It does it, and software. There's no anger.